What is up? Fellas, JPS Delivers here. Madden NFL 09. CPU drafted team New York Jets. I know we're 0-2 with them so far. I believe that's with the, I guess, against the uh, Dolphins. to where we got smacked in that uh, high-scoring affair, losing 31-29 to to Mark Bulger. And a really, really tough to fucking defend offense overall for the Bengals. Um, this time on the road in Oakland. So at least uh, I'm pretty sure. Nope, the field no longer is uh, like that with the baseball anymore. Um, I thought that was the case. Or maybe that's just the case with Miami's. I, I could have sworn that's what Oakland was like. But Dante Culpepper, quarterback for the Raiders, kind of seems... Fitting when you think, uh, you know, just at this stage in his career, Dante Culpepper, not all too much going on. Definitely seems like a fitting spot, you know, just uh, in this stage, late stage in his career and whatnot. But looking for a nice win, considering the Raiders are not good whatsoever. Nice pass right there to Sean Jackson. This Raiders team, not so good uh, whatsoever. And also, too, is that, uh, well, Mr. Evans, fullback, is, is he's going to get shit done on this drive. That's all. That's all. But this Raiders team, classic Raiders situation, except the Raiders do look better this season and stuff like that. But this is the 2000s Raiders, and I'm talking about Rich Gannon and company. I'm talking about the same Raiders team that Randy Moss walked out on before, uh, you know, the next season ends up breaking records with Tom Brady. But, uh, again, that's what happens when you have Tom Brady and uh, Randy Moss. Wasn't really going to put that situation all too, too much on this team. But I will put that penalty since Oakland Raiders, I'm pretty sure, historically the worst penalized team in the history of the NFL. Fits the uh, toughness of the city and stuff like that. But uh, for some reason, just something about the Oakland Raiders being highly undisciplined. And uh, that makes for a great situation for this Jets team, especially considering that I am 0-2 with them so far. And that should have been picked off. Jason Campbell, though, a little shaky to begin the game. First drive was way better. This time around, no, not so much. But thank God, this defense is starting to uh, pick it up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, nice play. I don't know. Is it just Rude? Is the name Rude? Is that what his name is? I don't know. But Deshaun Jackson, to have him and Roy Williams, a wide receiver. And Martin's actually been pretty underrated at tight end, if you ask me. He's an athletic pass catcher. I think he's like in the mid-80s, maybe lower 80s on his um, speed and, and overall. But uh, decently athletic. I mean, pretty much if you're in the 80s in speed and stuff like that, you're, you're a pretty athletic tight end for the most part. And here we go, Roy Williams setting this thing up. Setting it up. Unfortunately, gets tackled at what I believe is the three-yard line. And then that pff, that's a dangerous throw. Had I pressed hard on the button, but it gets it done. Speaking of Mr. Martin on that one, touchdown up by two at this point and a nice sack by Mr. Jamal Williams. He was beasting and feasting in this game. This 3-4 uh, is starting to look pretty good this time around. Even though this, uh, I mean, this team's not bad. It's, I mean, it helps the likes of Maurice Jones-Drew to help Jason Campbell out. This offensive line is not too bad as well. And then you'll have Roy Williams. I thought he was about to do some beast mode play on that one. But unfortunately not. It is what it is, though. Get a sack on this one. Indecisive. It's kind of like Jason Campbell in his career right there. I mean, the epitome of it. Indecisive. Lucky play right here against uh, Frank Gore on the outside. Pretty much not looking good for this Oakland Raiders team. At least so far. Jamal Williams on that one. Nice read. Going to stay 14 zip. Going to try to get it down the field a little bit. Kind of run that two-minute drill, maybe, if we possibly can with the likes of Jason Campbell, and then that shit happens. It is what it is, but this highlight right here ends up happening. That spin move works very well, that 98 speed on the outside. Deshaun Jackson's going to take it to the house as if he's, like, at the Meadowlands. Ironically enough, he's on the Jets this time. But it's going to be a holding penalty, because, right, we can't have anything fucking nice with this Jets team. I mean... At least this Jets team is not the Jets right now. But because uh, I know, I mean, it looked like the Jets were in position to maybe upset the Bills for a little bit. But then you kind of remember that it uh, it's the New York Jets of 2020. And um, 
if they're really, I mean, could, could you really consider the New York Jets of 2020 to be considered the team that would rep, you know, pretty much represent 2020 if it, 2020 was a was an NFL football team? Because in itself, I mean, did anybody really anticipate this year to be complete shit show? Because everybody's always, I mean, it's all fucking social media. Oh, 2020. Oh, this is, I mean, oh, God, this has been such, this is 2020 in a nutshell. Everybody just trying to get fucking 10 fucking likes or something like that by, you know, some fucking shithead that hasn't talked to you ever since you graduated high school and whatnot. Fuck you, Kevin Falk, on that one. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody was surprised that it has gone this bad. I don't think anybody should be surprised by how bad it's gone by the Jets. I mean, did anybody... Come on. Did really even Jets fans a nice touchdown pass right there? I think that was Chris Cooley on the play. But did anybody in their right mind think that this season was going to be good for the New York Jets? I mean, I feel bad for Sam Darnold, but even Sam Darnold's not good. At least, I mean... Also, too, I mean, he had a lucky touchdown run. Let's, you know, it's technically one of the plays of the year, you'd have to say, because you don't anticipate him running it that far. Speaking of, nice run by Frank Gore. Hey, now, a uh, funny thing, too, excuse me. Frank Gore playing on the Jets. Playing against the Jets. But, um, I mean, that was one of the worst defensive plays I've ever seen by... The Denver Broncos, that was a terrible play blown up. I was, <laughs> I was about to pass the ball 30 yards down the field just to get a yard down the field. But fortunately enough, staying in the pocket for that one. Over 100 yards on the day by Mr. Roy Williams. Hitting wide receiver two, the rookie Deshaun Jackson. Two guys, highly athletic. I should have cut this to the outside. I meant, a, I meant well, I mean, technically I cut to the outside, but I meant more so uh, right before all that. But here we go, Mark Clayton. I believe he played for the Baltimore Ravens. Had a couple of decent seasons. Probably a couple of pretty good ones. Also, too, this is Peyton Manning tier fucking audible. There you go, baby. Hot route. Corner route. Just a little corner slant right there. Considering a corner route would be a little difficult to uh, maneuver that close to the end zone. Nice call right there by Jason Campbell. It's going to get them a nice one. And then Mr... Is it Derek Johnson? Derek Johnson at a UT, one of the best linebackers to come out of UT, one of the best defenders to come out of UT, and that that's definitely saying something. Man, made most of his career being a star for Kansas City Chiefs, and that was a stud play right there by the safety, Mr. Rogers. This is pretty much the point to where we're able to show off how well we can run the ball and how well we were running the ball. And right here, Jason Campbell, 68 speed. Remember when he was supposed to be like a good scrambler? Well, excuse me again, Jesus. A decent scrambler, you know, no, no one who's going to be, you know, like even Josh Allen speed. But still, I mean, I, 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 enough said about Jason Campbell. Sorry. Sorry, man. I'm, I know, Kyle. I'm talking about your boy. Uh, I just can't say enough right here to... Uh, Get yeah, over the fact Jason came. I'm just going to keep on saying his name. And then right when I say that, I mean, right when I said I wasn't going to talk about it anymore, throws an interception. Mind you, it's me. It's not really him. But thank God training camp went well, or else I'd be really nervous about this team. I was nervous in the first two games of the season, but uh, fortunately a holding penalty on that one. And then Cole Pepper is going to get picked off by Eric Weddle. Beautifully done. I don't think he got a single yard on the interception return, but it is what it is. Jones drew about six yards on the play. Only reason why I said six is because I waited to say it because it said second and four. Fucking sue me. And here we go. Roy Williams down the field, and it's going to be picked off. Uh, just getting greedy at the end of the game. No reason to. Just wanted to get a couple more stats with Roy Williams, but it is what it is. Kevin Curtis... God, yawns. Kevin Curtis, one of the speedier. And right there, I whiffed it on that first interception attempt. If you, if y'all want to go back and check that shit, go back. Because Eric Weddle, I went up for that interception, but fortunately enough, I pressed it again. Maybe that was the game just saying, like, okay, you were anticipating this pick. It was a poorly thrown ball by Dante Culpepper. Remember, it is 2008. So it's pretty much expected that Mr. Culpepper 
throws poor passes. Then here we go, Mark Clayton to the outside. I thought that had a chance to uh, get there, but no, 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 no. 31 to 14 at this time, got a field goal on that drive. Pretty much this Oakland Raiders team, god awful, trash. The fact that we can win by 17 after starting the season off so slow, you know, don't want to be pessimistic about it, you know, and in, in its entirety. But look good for the most part. I mean, offense threw for like 300 yards or so. Deshaun Jackson, <sighs> 50 yards, over 100 yards for Roy Williams, two touchdown catches by Mr. Martin, as well as 40 yards by him, and I think an additional two catches on the day. I believe Maurice Jones-Drew went over 100 yards. So if we can get this, I mean, it didn't seem like the offense was too much of a problem. Maybe in week one against the Dolphins, for sure. Not much of a problem today, even though if we limit the turnovers, it could have been 500 to 14. I don't know. So no, not 90, uh, not 100, well, it was 96 yards, but not 100 yards today by him. Mark Clayton, 69 yards, beautiful, beautiful number. 110 yards on the three catches by Roy Williams. Could have technically had two touchdowns today, but he did get caught short twice Fullback Evans only had his two catches on the first drive, but hey, thank you, Mr. Evans. Started off with great momentum. Derek Johnson with a pick six and two sacks, I'd have to say. He's the player of the game, in my opinion. Two interceptions by Eric Weddle, but, you know, two interceptions compared to the one interception. It was returned for a touchdown. Derek Johnson with a great game. And Derek Johnson's the type of dude that we need to utilize on this team. You got Jamal Williams right there. You got Mr. Root at middle linebacker. You're going to need a good middle linebacker when you have to deal with two of them in a 3-4. And you got Derek Johnson, one of the best outside pass rushers, like the Von Miller type. As always, fellas, take it easy, and see you all next time.